So you don't know which PEV to purchase. Should I buy an electric scooter, electric unicycles, electric bike, electric skateboard? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Metpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about all these amazing PVs that we have here that I own them all and I have the possibility to give you a more in-depth thought why I ride PEVs and which ones do I ride the most, which ones I feel that are safer, which ones I can use all around all the year because I think that many of you guys have just ride maybe electric scooters, maybe electric bikes, maybe electric skateboards or just maybe electric unicycles so why I own so many and why I have them. Obviously I work with all the brands that you are seeing in here, all this was sent to me to review on this channel. I get in love with PEVs. So the first PEV that I started riding was electric skateboards but sooner or later I start to understanding that was missing something in my life when I was riding with it. It's an amazing experience, it feels like you are basically doing snowboard but in the city and I really really enjoy it but I had some limitation with it. You have multiple different setups this one is a fully suspension for suspension one in each tire and it's going to give you a lot of stability and I believe further away I will be selling all of them and just staying with this one but this one is going to remove something that you have if you choose an electric skateboard that is wobbles so if you ride with an electric skateboard if you get a small hole in one of your tires your deck starts wobbling and you will fall and it's very very difficult to stop a wobble on an electric skateboard obviously you can be very very talented and you have a lot of experience riding electric skateboards you can control that much much better but just to point it out that is much much easier to this happening than in other PEVs when you are riding with an electric skateboard you have a remote so if you ride in the UK it's cold you're going to feel your hands much much colder because even if you are using some gloves I recommend you to have your fingers out so you have more control on your skateboards another thing is depending on the brand that you use if you have a VESC so a motherboard that will allow you to change the curve of your acceleration and braking better I don't like brakes very very hard and majority of the times the brakes on skateboards are very very hard so when you want to brake you need to change the position of your body before you brake so that gives also less control than for example when you jump to an electric unicycle that we'll talk in a minute you have different type of decks you have carbon fiber decks and obviously you have maple decks like this one if you have a carbon fiber deck it's less flexible but is also more durable and better for water conditions when you have a maple one it's more comfortable it gives you an extra comfort on your on your feet but also is more easy to damage and not so good if it's raining another thing is the type of tires so this one you can put some air and pressure so these ones are with 21 psi at the moment and that's is going to give you more comfort they are off-road tires so also gives you more grip but you can use normal set of wheels that they are not so good if your terrain is not very very level obviously if you live like in california and stuff like this you have very very good roads not the case of the uk you have also few configurations you can have belt motors so they are much stronger that is the case of this one you have also direct direct drive so they are also quite strong that is the case of the onstrad that i review on the channel you have also hub motors like the bound motors m3 that i review also on the channel they are all different but if you want more power belt motor but also you have more maintenance than if you have a hub motor or a direct drive so also something to consider if you choose a direct drive the, um, the motors are much closer to the floor so easier to damage if you have like this the motors are much higher and more far away from the floor so definitely a plus why i ride electric skateboards i like the sensation of danger if you want and i like that curving experience that you have with a skateboard the range on these ones are much smaller than for example on an electric unicycle so also one of the reasons why i needed something else and also i will not recommend you to ride electric skateboards if it's raining because it becomes dangerous so have that in mind i've done that to do a video for you guys and it didn't finish really really well but let's jump to another one and when we go to an electric scooter definitely is one of the easiest ones or maybe the easiest one to get used to that's why you have trials everywhere that you can rent and start using but they give you a full sensation 
of control. Even if you feel that you have your hands on the handlebar and you can feel that you are more in control, it's not true, okay? Depending on the electric scooter that you are using, you're going to have a more stable electric scooter than others. This one, for example, the tires is, are much larger. You need to put some air on these tires so they are not airless tires and they have a lot, a lot of grip. And because they are so wide, the scooter gets much more stable. So also if you are choosing to buy an electric scooter, this side if you want something more stable or something more compact and uh, very portable like the other one that, uh, that I review on the channel, the ETWL GT. Also another thing that I didn't like it so much on electric scooters is harder to just grab it and do your life and entering inside the um, public transport many times you need to fold it and after it's not really compact so it takes a lot of space if you go in the train many times it stays a bit on the corridor so there is a lot of things they are good and it's easy you can put a bag on, on your handlebar and, and grab some stuff and some groceries you can even bring someone in even if i don't recommend it and i think it's silly but you have some benefits in there you can already ride if it's a little bit raining definitely is not a big big deal depending obviously on the scooter that you choose also you have a lot of maintenance with an electric scooter remember also on the electric scooters you have plenty of screws that they start to get loose and you need to tighten them up quite quite often when we jump to the electric bike I really like it, this one is a foldable, it's also in discount on this channel, so feel free to use uh, and check the dis description below. The Fido, this is the DS4, it's an amazing bike, I need just to change the mudguard because it's in the opposite way. But anyway, it's an amazing bike, you can even unlock to go even faster. What is the biggest advantage if you choose an electric bike? First of all, in this case, this one is foldable, so it's a little bit more compact and it doesn't take so much space than the electric scooter. Even if the electric scooter is easier to close, it takes more space, so have that in mind also when you are choosing. But the electric bike is more conventional, so everyone knows, or a majority of us knows, how to ride an electric bike and also you have less stress. So when we look to all of these, the main reason for me to choose an electric bike is if I don't want to have any problems with the police because it's electric but it's a bike and remember that you always have to choose a bike that is below 250 watts otherwise the police can give you some issues also check the pedal assistance press and it starts accelerating in some countries is a problem so have that in mind also you have also like the electric scooters a lot of stuff to just play around and to put everything working properly but is the most conventional so if you choose this is also a very good option is not as fast as the options that you are seeing in here but it's fast enough and uh, obviously it's a bike and we already know what we can take out of the bike when we talk about range is also normally one of the best options because you can pedal even if you stay without battery and if you have pedal assistant normally for example this one can do up to 80 kilometers of range so plenty of range that you have in here when you go to an electric skateboard on electric scooter you are going to have much less range otherwise if you want an electric scooter with a lot of range you definitely need to go something very very heavy and very very expensive so also looking to all of this if you want the solution that is cheaper but gives you more range go to an electric bike because you are not going to regret and let's talk about the last one that is here that is my favorite one and you'll understand why i like so much electric unicycles when i started i was really scared to ride it and uh, that is the first impression that you have when you look something like this you think that is very hard to 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 ride and is very very dangerous when you understand the limitations of the one that you choose because obviously if you choose something smaller like this one that is the v8f it doesn't go that fast and you need to always ride in a safe way so if you know that your wheel do 50 km per hour, just go up to 40 km per hour. Don't do very big up hills, so otherwise you can burn your motherboard. When we talk about that, if you want to go up the hill, the electric unicycles are much more powerful than an electric scooter. I've done a comparison between an electric unicycle and an electric scooter that it was quite a funny video with a friend of mine, so definitely check that out. This is very powerful for what you get. It's very compact, it's nothing comparable. That's why in this room there are three, and I have just one of each. If even if I have more electric skateboards, I have four, I have two bikes, I just have this one. The electric unicycle is basically an extension of your body. And when we become an extension of your body, is the device that you choose from here that will give you 
less issues, okay? So you don't have brakes to change because when you want to brake with an electric unicycle is basically the rotation of your motor change. It goes in the opposite way and it brakes, so less parts to change. And basically, when you have a problem with an electric unicycle, you have to change is the motherboard. So just have that in mind, it's not a big deal. Um, the cost is low to replace it. It's not cheap to buy it, but I think it's quite rewarding what you can accomplish with this. It's very compact going in the public transport. It doesn't take almost any space. So also something that I really like compared to an electric skateboard, I don't have to grab a remote. I can have my, my hands on my pockets and just go with the flow. So definitely a cool thing. It's very easy to just come out and just open the handle and just walk around. If you go inside the supermarket, nobody complains that you have that. If you go inside the supermarket with a bike or a scooter, they can complain that you are going with it. Another thing when you are with a skateboard, not this one because it's really heavy, but if you go to something that is a little bit more compact, remember of the grip tape, you are going to grab, it's going to damage your jackets and stuff. I've done and I damage a lot of jackets with electric skateboards. From all of them, this is my favorite. It's not legal in majority of the country, so be aware of it and be looking around if you see the police, if it's not allowed, because you can have some issues. This is one of my favorite one. If you are searching something that is convenient, it gives you a lot of range and you don't have problems with the police, definitely choose an electric bike. If you want a lot of fun and a more risky one, go to an electric skateboard. And if you want something that is very easy to ride and it allows you to go to point A to point B, not big, big distance, go to an electric scooter. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.